I was raised in a Christian home. My dad was a music minister, so I was almost a pastor's kid, not quite. Growing up, I, I kind of had a hollow faith. It wasn't really built on evidence, and it wasn't really built on anything. It was just something that my parents took me to, and I believed it to the extent that I heard people saying it, um, but that was about all it meant to me. I had three older brothers, and two of them walked away from the faith. And so that started to shake the foundations for me and opened me up to a lot of questions. Uh, and those questions started to come in faster and faster as I got towards high school. I just started, you know, thinking and hearing friends talk about the idea of God. And suddenly it started to feel like what I believed was not uh, even feasible. That it was just frustrating and sad to think that it could all just be stuff people made up, you know, built on nothing. And so by about my junior year of high school, I pretty much stopped believing Christianity altogether. During a lot of my doubts, I thought that I was the only person who had ever thought of any of this, that I had just myself discovered this gaping hole in Christianity. But um, I was shocked to find out that, in fact, there have been books written on these subjects. I was far from the first person to consider these questions. Uh, they did have good answers already. I just had to find them. And that was uh, a revelation for me. I had I'd never realized anything like that. I had never been taught that. Uh, and it was, it was a game changer, truly. Um, I, I did begin to take my Christianity seriously. And if Christianity is seriously true, then I seriously need to be working. You know, I began reading my Bible regularly and uh, I got involved in evangelism, started talking to people because if this is the truth, then they need to know it <laughs> really, really badly. Um, and so through that, I was able to be uh, confident in my evangelism in a way that I never had been before. And that very next spring, I went on a mission trip uh, down to uh, South Padre Islands and got to share the gospel with a bunch of people there who were uh, very far from God in their behavior, um, but who were very open to discussions about it. Um, there was one person I remember talking to who um, was just telling me that, you know, all the religions are, are basically the same, basically equal. They're just ways to make you a better person, make your life more fulfilling. And so, uh, you know, you just pick whichever one works for you and that's good for you. And I started talking to him about you know, Jesus and the resurrection. And I said, man, if, if this really happened, then religion's not about choice, it's about truth. Um, and that seemed like a, a new idea to him. And so he asked me, you know, do you, do you think the resurrection really happened? Do you think that there is evidence for it? Um, and that was just an incredible question because I had just heard a talk on evidence for the resurrection. And so I was able to share with him about why I believe Jesus rose from the dead. And he was, uh, really, really open to that. Uh, and so I, I prayed with him after that and uh, gave him my number in case he wanted to contact me. And he, he said he would look into it more. And I, that was a great opportunity that I wouldn't have had, wouldn't even had the courage to take if it hadn't been for apologetics reinforcing my faith. It's really exciting to be able to share what I've learned uh, with him. And going forward, I want to do that with as many people as I can.